In this video, <coughs> I'm going to be discussing um, the topic of you just have to know your limits and uh, even if a situation is not particularly unhealthy to be in, if you know you don't handle them well, it's okay to avoid them, in my opinion. Uh, about a year ago, I was driving across country when um, I was going to visit a friend along the way and I had offered to help her move some things. She was moving from Las Vegas to New York and those were two points that I happened to be driving along and um, we had been talking on the phone before I left for the trip and I had promised to help. And um, in my mind I'm thinking that um, you know if I get there and I something else comes up I could always change my mind. I didn't realize how hard it is to break a promise Oh, this is a friend I've known for almost a decade and um, at the time I had a crush on her actually and I get to her home I realize the entire home reeks of very strong perfume and I realize I didn't want to put that stuff in my car and uh, I long story short I found it very difficult to back out of the agreement and I did it and as a result I got into a significant car accident and I made the entire trip miserable and and then I had to get the car fixed and then and also get the interior cleaned and uh, I had to absorb a lot of expenses both time and money uh, just because I, I got myself into a situation that I couldn't back out of I have been doing some tutoring um, earlier this year when um, one morning I picked up the phone, they, the, the client and his mother had called me and woken me up and while still half asleep I kind of agreed to change the time for tutoring and then I realized oh my god I got a race there in 20 minutes and uh, being the superman that I am uh, I raced there going 90 miles an hour and somehow I made it in one piece to do the tutoring session um, and uh, at the time uh, because I had just gotten into the accident uh, I got a device to put into my car to to try to save up my car insurance and the device picked up that I was doing 90 miles an hour so uh, long story short I lost money on that tutoring job and um, but I kept my reputation of somebody who will be there at a moment's notice uh, and so uh, these two experiences taught me that I have a very difficult time backing out of my promise and I just have to take that into consideration when I when I speak and try not to make promises earlier than I have to and uh, for example earlier this month uh, another friend of mine was going to visit Seattle I made a very deliberate attempt to keep any discussion of what we were going to do to a minimum until it was crunch time and it had to be discussed and um, it turned out he didn't come anyway. See I wouldn't have been able to promise somebody that I'm going to visit them in Seattle and then not show up very easily. He has a different mentality so he doesn't have to take that into account. I wasn't that heartbroken. I figured you know, I, I, either way would be okay with me. Um, you know, it's it's very personal. Some people can back out of promises, some people can't, and if you can't, you just have to do it at the other end and make sure you, you make your promises so very, uh, very, uh, very selectively. Um, it's just like how some people can't handle using a credit card and paying it off in full every month. It always drives me crazy when some people insist that you can never use credit cards. Uh, it's very It's a very personal decision. And if you, it, obviously if you've had a history of that, if you filed bankruptcy, even if it was years ago, it's probably not in your blood to use credit cards. Uh, but that's not a problem with how credit cards are structured. Thanks for watching.